I'm high. How about I wash off the grapes? Yes. Okay. You're already making good decisions when you're high. I want tacos. Will you drive? I'm a little toasty. Nope. I'm high. Let's order in. Don't make an exception when it comes to driving. If you feel different, you drive different. See on page four that the projections need to be tornado next Thursday. Seriously? Thursday? Can't do that. Uh-uh. This is really inconvenient. I have yoga that day. I have no time for this. So? I can't do Thursday, but I can do Friday. Disasters don't plan ahead. You can. Talk to your loved ones about how you're going to be ready in an emergency. Don't wait. Communicate. I want to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. I need to eat, eat, eat apples and bananas. Why can't I eat, eat, eat apples and bananas? Support the Feeding America nationwide network of food banks to help provide meals to those in need. Join us at feedingamerica.org. Good evening. My name is Mary Lee Oliver, and I'm joined by Delaney Barrow. And tonight we'll have coverage from Auburn basketball and their overtime work this week. Auburn gymnastics coming back home and how Auburn softball fared in Clearwater, Florida. All that and more tonight on Sports Night in Auburn. Auburn men's basketball went into Bud Walton Arena fresh off a huge home win against Kentucky. It took Auburn five extra minutes, but after a scare and a deficit of up to 11 points with six minutes to go, the Tigers came roaring back and managed to push the game into overtime, and thanks to a pair of free throws by Tamir Dowdy, Danielle Purifoy, and Javon McCormick, Auburn would take the road win by a final score of 79-76. to after an exciting overtime win on the road, Bruce Pearl brought Auburn back to the Plains for a matchup that would decide who sits at the top of the SEC. As LSU came into town, Eagle Eye was there to bring the highlights. Today, the 18th ranked LSU Tigers take on the 11th ranked Auburn Tigers at home. Both teams will fight hard today, but only one can come out on top. Darius Day started off the game with a three-point shot for the Tigers. It quickly became a back-and-forth game between these two SEC rivals. The crowd continued to sway in favor of the Auburn Tigers as students had been lined up at the door since 8 a.m. this morning. LSU's offensive and defensive game continued to challenge the Auburn Tigers throughout the game. Samir Dowdy had an incredible game and his shots became crucial to Auburn. With less than 30 seconds on the clock, Auburn was down by two. Dowdy made a quick layup and tied the game, which caused it to go into overtime. At 74 to 74, the two Tigers fought until the end. Fans, students, and players alike sat on the edge of their seats as the score was neck and neck. However, the Auburn Tigers secured a victory at 91 to 90. What a game. The Auburn Tigers momentum does not stop here. Auburn's men's basketball will return home at the Auburn Arena next Wednesday at 6 against the Alabama Crimson Tide. I'm Larkin Carden reporting for Eagle Eye TV. And two hard fought home behind wins. Mary Lee, how does this win help the Tigers in their season momentum? After two hard fought wins at home for the Tigers, I think it's going to be a large morale boost for them going into the rest of SEC play. Here at this half mark, they have a major rebound game to play Alabama at home and kind of just regain those two losses that they had earlier in SEC play. I think it'll be a massive morale boost for them, and I'm excited to see what they'll do with it. Delaney, how do you feel Auburn has played this far into conference play? I think that they really proved that they are here to make it to the same place they did last year, if not further. With that key win over LSU, they proved that they deserve to be at the top of the SEC, along with those come-from-behind road wins. And it's going to be really interesting to see if they can redeem themselves against Alabama on Wednesday. After a solid week, Auburn did not move in the weekly AP poll, holding strong at number 11. The top 10 is as follows. Number one, Baylor. Number two, Gonzaga. Number three, Kansas. Number four, San Diego State. 
Number five, Louisville. Number six, Dayton. Number seven, Butte. Number eight, Florida State. Number nine, Maryland. And number 10, Seton Hall. We're joined now by our sports director, Hayden Desmond, live in the Eagle Eye studio. Hayden, what do you think of Auburn's ranking in this week's AP poll? I think the ranking was justified at 11. The Tigers didn't really move, even though they had two quality SEC wins. I think that you look at the people that are in the top 10, Seton Hall is obviously coming off a big win. Duke just got a big win in their rival against Carolina, even though they're really not doing too well this season. And throughout the rest of the top 10, the teams are just solid. You got undefeateds like San Diego State. Kansas is up there at number three. Baylor, who is a surprise going into the year, is still holding solid at number one. So I think 11 is a very good ranking for the Tigers. Shifting off of that, Auburn has a tough week this week facing the team that ended their undefeated streak in Alabama and then at Missouri on Saturday. How do you see those matchups coming out? I think Alabama's a good team at home. Auburn's an even better team at home, and Auburn's at home this week, so I think that one's going to be an easy one for Auburn. Uh, Alabama can shoot a little bit on the outside with their guard play and John Petty. I think he's playing really well, but I also think that Auburn's defense is starting to fully come, even though they just allowed... 90 points to LSU in an overtime win, but at the same time, I think Auburn's going to be able to pull out the win at home against Alabama. Now, going to Missouri is kind of a tougher place to play. Uh, it's Tigers versus Tigers on that one. Missouri is at home, uh, and Missouri's a good team at home. Auburn's not a good team on the road, so that one is kind of a toss-up for that, but I think Auburn's going to go 2-0 this week. Thanks, Hayden. Coming up, we'll take a look at everything else happening in the past week around the Plains. You're watching Sports Night in Auburn. Touchdown! You see that? Whoa, 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 we scored? Yeah, we scored. We're going to the playoffs. I can't believe I missed that. Every time I'm buzzed, I spend too much time on my phone. I should take your phone away. No, no, no. I'll call for a ride. Wait, why is my Facebook like that? When I was growing up, my mom was extremely tidy. We were trained to put things back where we got them from. One day, when I walked into my mom's house, I felt like I walked to someone else's house. There was stuff everywhere. And just growing up, the way I grew up, and to see this transition was very alarming. When Sean talked to me, it was a wake-up call, and that's when I went to the doctor. Put the keys down, Kevin. But I'm going to drive home. There are several warning signs present that you shouldn't be driving. I've taken 25 selfies in the last 10 minutes. 26. Yep, I'm definitely going to call a ride home. Welcome back to Sports Night in Auburn. Last Friday, Coach Jeff Graba brought Auburn Gymnastics back home to take on the Kentucky Wildcats in an exciting SEC matchup. The Auburn Tigers fell to the Kentucky Wildcats 196.250 to 197.275 Friday night in Auburn Arena. Despite leading after the first rotation, the Tigers got large deductions on bars, beam, and floor. These deductions came from Drew Watson falling off bars and getting a 9.075, and Emma Slappy slipping off the beam and getting a 9.1. I thought we started well, and the last three routines finished well, Auburn head coach Jeff Graba said in the post-meet press conference. Although the Tigers were defeated, they still showed strong performances throughout the night. Darion Goborn scored the high score of the night on floor for the Tigers with a 9.950. Goborn also snagged the Tigers' best bar score with a 9.875. Freshman Cassie Stevens had the highest overall total for the Tigers, getting a 39.050. Stevens' best score of the night was on vault, where she scored a 9.0. The team as a whole also scored a season best on vault, scoring a 49.425. Senior Gracie Day racked up a 9.925, followed by Cassie Stevens, Drew Watson, and Darion Goborn, all scoring 9.9. Kentucky senior Molly Course led the way for the Wildcats, scoring 39.575, with her lowest score of the night being a 9.85. Junior Ella Warren was right behind her with a 39.375. Women's basketball has had an up-and-down season this year, and this past week was no different. In the annual paint game promoting breast cancer awareness, Auburn rallied their defense and free throw shooting in the 70-62 win over Vanderbilt. The Tigers forced 22 turnovers and went 18 of, 29 of 20 from the free throw line, a solid 90% on the evening. In the second game of the week, Auburn traveled to Tuscaloosa to take on in-state rival Alabama. In heartbreaking fashion, the Tigers lost 68-64 in a game that featured 12 ties and 13 lead changes. Alabama took the lead after hitting a three-pointer with just under a minute to play. 
Up to that point, the Crimson Tide had missed 11 straight three-point shots. The Tigers started off the softball season this past Friday with a resounding 8-0 loss in five innings against the Baylor Bears. However, life would get easier as Auburn would win three straight against Notre Dame, Liberty, and Texas State before losing to Illinois on Sunday. The Tigers get back to the field this Thursday against Kennesaw State. Plainsman Park is open for business this coming weekend as baseball finally gets underway. The Tigers open their season with a four-game series against Illinois Chicago. Auburn opens the season ranked 8th in the country with eight other SEC teams being ranked in the top 25. Coming up, we'll have a look at everything happening this week on the Plains. You're watching Sports Night in Auburn. My parents weren't fluent in English, so in school I had to be independent and take initiative, and that's how I handle every project I get. Kevin, you thinking about retirement? I'd love to, but I'm pretty busy with all this. Yeah, Kevin, let's meet our retirement coach, Avo. A is for taking action. Not anxiety? No, Kevin, you're gonna be fine. You sick? Barely. B is for variety. And you dance. Sort of. <laughs> Come on. O is for optimize your savings. Let Avo lead the way. Visit aceyourretirement.org today. today. Nice. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome back. Let's take a look at everything going on in Auburn this week. On Tuesday, Women's Golf finishes up their tournament in Talos Verdes Estates, California, in the Northrop Grunman Regional Challenge. On Wednesday, men's basketball is at home to take on in-state rival Alabama, with the game tipping off inside Auburn Arena at 6 p.m. and can be seen on ESPN2. On Thursday, women's basketball heads to Columbia, South Carolina to take on the Gamecocks at 6 p.m. and can be seen on SEC Network. Softball takes on Kennesaw State at 6 p.m. on SEC Network Plus. Friday, track and field heads to Clemson, South Carolina to take part in the Tiger Paw invite through Saturday while also sending some athletes to Boston to take part in the David Henry Valentine Invitational. Men's tennis faces Georgia State at home at noon and in Stanford at 5 p.m. Softball has two games on Friday as they face UNC Wilmington at 2.30, and then at 5, the Tigers take on Alabama State, with both games being available to listen to on the Auburn Sports Network. Baseball also has a game on Friday at 5 as they take on Illinois Chicago at 5 p.m., with the game being seen on SEC Network Plus. And lastly, for Friday, gymnastics is back at home as they welcome in the University of Florida with their meet scheduled to begin at 7.30. Saturday, Equestrian takes on Baylor at home at 10 a.m., Baseball has two games against Illinois Chicago at 1 p.m. and 4.30 p.m., with the early game being broadcasted on SEC Network Plus. Softball takes on Alabama State and UNC Wilmington, with those games being at 2.30 p.m. and 5 p.m. And lastly, men's basketball is in Columbia, Missouri, to take on the Tigers, with that game being seen on ESPN2 at 5 p.m. Sunday, softball faces UNC Wilmington at 11 a.m., and baseball takes on Illinois Chicago at the same time, while women's basketball is at home against the Tigers of LSU. That's all for tonight. Thank you for tuning in to this week's Sports Night in Auburn. Be sure to stay up to date with us on our website, eagleeyeauburn.com, on Twitter at EETV underscore sports, and on Instagram at eagleeyetv. I'm Mary Lee Oliver. And I'm Delaney Barrow. War Eagle and good night.